Hello everyone, for this tutorial video, I'd like to go over the final application of derivatives, which is maximizing and minimizing profit for business purposes, and also noticing that the derivative gives us the marginal value of whatever function we are taking the derivative of. For example, if we know the demand of a certain good is given by a constant value, then the revenue generated would be this demand times the number of goods sold. And then to find the overall profit we make, we subtract the overall revenue from the overall cost. However, more often than not, the demand is not a constant, but rather varies so it can be given by a function. For example, if we are given this cost function and this demand function, and asked to determine the marginal revenue, marginal profit, and marginal cost, for the selling of 2,500 widgets and 7,500 widgets. We would first take the revenue as the multiplication of the number of widgets times the demand function, then subtract the cost function given earlier from this to get the total profit. We see the marginal cost is simply the derivative of the given cost function because it is the rate of change of cost or what the margin of the cost will be. Similarly, since we have a function for revenue in terms of x, we take the derivative of that. And lastly, we take the subtraction of these derivatives as the derivative of the profit function. We plug in x equals 2,500 and x equals 7,500 for all these marginal functions. So we see at 2,500, the marginal cost is $25. The marginal revenue is $175 and so the marginal profit is 150 because it is revenue minus cost. Similarly, we can see that because we know the marginal functions at 7,500, it will cost an additional $325 to manufacture the next one, and we will receive an extra $125 in revenue, meaning we have a net loss in profit of exactly $200. We know as well, because of how maximum and minimum functions work in general, that the profit will be maximized when its derivative equals zero, as the maximum point is a critical point, which means because the derivative of profit is derivative of revenue minus derivative of cost, this will be maximum when the derivative of the revenue equals the derivative of the cost. And we know by the second derivatives, a maximum point is concave down or the second derivative is less than zero. So by similar reasoning to the first derivative, the second derivative of revenue must be less than the second derivative of cost in order for the point to be maximum. Now that we have figured out applications of derivatives in business purposes, we can move on from derivatives and toward the other major calculus function, the integral. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative and make sure to see other tutorial videos and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.